Hello, I'm Andy Rash, the technical trainer for DMAG Cranes and Components. The subject of today's video will be troubleshooting for the DMR Generation 1 wire rope hoist. We'll begin here at the electrical panel. We'll disconnect power and open the panel and show you what's inside. We've opened the panel with disconnected power so that I can point out some of the key electrical components that identify with the Generation 1 DMR. This is the contactor control two-speed version and it has a Siemens logo which is used as an anti-jogging timer in place of a function called SGDM. In a two-speed trolley it also has the BER timer for the trolley speed so that high doesn't go immediately in the low and cause a load swing. This is the TCQ overload protection device. It's identifiable. It has a lot of Asian writing on the face on a decal and sets of red dip switches for its setting value. It also has LEDs for its status. The Generation 1 DMR also has relays in a 24 volt system that supply the input values to the logo. This relay is a common source of problems for the original supply relays. Many times these relays will be loose, wiggled out of their sockets, which causes arcing and overheating, and then malfunction. There is a second variant that has an arbor over the top to help hold them in place, but even that variant has issues. So many times your problem of a lost function goes no further than looking here. There's two relays for the hoist and three relays used for the trowel. They're identical. If you replace one, think about replacing all five with an update. But they can also be shuffled for troubleshooting. So I'll quickly show you how to remove one, they have a thumb release on their holder. But the thumb release allows too much travel if you push it all the way down. Be very careful when you want to reuse these relays. You want to carefully actuate it, get the relay to pop out, and then work it loose from its socket, remembering to be very gentle so you don't break the pins off the bottom. We've created a troubleshooting sheet for use with the DMR Generation 1 as well as its predecessor, the DR Boss Hoist. This sheet is an attachment to our video that you can download. There are three key areas to look at explained on the sheet. First, there is a sensing micro switch of the brake position on the motor. That should also be checked. Second, there is the TCQ device. Basically, the logo should create about a 0 0.40 second delay on jogging high speed. And that can usually be visually observed in the functionality check. Our sheet discusses the LED status of the TCQ for self-diagnostics. It also gives you information for how to check brake motor, brake release micro switch. Notice there are two LEDs, a green one which is turned on now and a red one below it for the status of the TCQ overload. When things are running and not overloaded, the green stays on, the red stays off. If red comes on and green stays on, that means the overload device has shut off the lifting circuit. If the red is flashing and the green is on, that is an overload alarm as an overload is happening. If red is on and green is flashing, you may have the wrong dip switch setting. If they're both flashing at the same time, you could have a broken sensor wire or a wrong connection. If the red flashes and the green stays off, that indicates an internal fault in the self-check, change the device. If they flash alternatively, it is conducting an internal self-test.
during that time. Please consult our troubleshooting sheet for a published version of what the indicator LED flashes mean. I'll remove the fan cover off of our CBV lifting motor and that will reveal the brake monitoring micro switch. If the hoist starts to lift or lower but drops out immediately, then the brake micro switch may not be closing. If the hoist does not lift or lower at all, then the brake micro switch may be stuck closed. The best way to check the switch is with a 0.20 millimeter feeler gauge, which when inserted between the rod that actuates it and the tip of the switch, should actuate and change the state of the switch. The checks that I went through on this video are listed on our download reference sheet that you can download from this video. Thank you for your time and attention watching the DMR video series.